Hello, I'm Sunny Star, and in this video, I will demonstrate how to create an accordion pleat skirt in Pro 3D using clear step-by-step -step instruction. We'll cover everything from creating the skirt patterns and applying the pleats fold to using the free sewing tool. I will also show you how to apply the fabric and adjust the particle distance to achieve this realistic look. First, we want to create fabrics. I will use the rectangle tool, click on that to select, then click one on the page. And I'm going to type in 30, then press on the tab key, then I'm going to type in 4. After that, I want to change number of shape to 2, and I will click on OK. Next, I will switch the tool to transform pattern tool, click one on this fabric to select, then click and then drag it down, right click. Then I'm going to change this height to 46. After that, I will click on OK. Next, we want to make two more copies. Simply Command or Control plus letter C, Command or Control plus letter V, and I'm going to press on Shift and then click one to place. Then I'm going to Command or Control plus letter D here, and once again, press on Shift and then click one to place. Next, we want to merge them together. I will go to this Edit Pattern tool, click one right here, right click, and then I will select Merge. I will do the same here. Simply click one here and then press on Shift, Click one right here, right click, then I'm going to select merge. Next, we want to remove this point as well as the line. To do so, I will select the trash tool, click on it. Then my key selects all the points and the line. Press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. After that, we want to align this pattern. Simply go to the transform pattern tool, click on that pattern, drag it over. Let's zoom in a little. And we want to see this line right there. The pattern is now aligned. I'm going to my key select both of them and then bring them down here. Next, we want to create internal line for the pleat. I will use this edit pattern tool. Click one on this edge here. Press on shift, then click one here. Now right click and I'm going to select distribute internal line between segments. Then I'm going to type in 60 and click on OK. Next, I will come over here to the property editor and turn on this full rendering. Simply check on that box there to turn it on. Now hover the mouse on top of that internal lines, right click, and I'm going to select extend slash trim and add point to pattern outline. Next, we want to apply the fold on top of the pleat as well as sewing it. To do that, I will select this split tool here, click on that to select. Then I'm going to select this Please fold, click on it, click one to start, and then click toy. And I'm going to select this accordion pleats and number of internal line per pleats too. And full angle, we want to change that to 90 to 270. Simply click on it to select. Then I'm going to click on OK. After that, I will use the free sewing tool, click on it, and then select the free sewing tool. I will click one to start here, click right here, and then click one over here. Now I'm going to sew to here. After that, we want to make a copy. I will come over here to the transform pattern tool. My key selects both the pattern pieces. Then I'm going to command or control plus letter C, and command or control plus letter V, and pressing on shift and click one to place the pattern. Before we are going to place the pattern onto the avatar, I want to reset them all. Simply come over here to the 3D toolbar and then select the reset all to the pattern. And I'm going to come over here and then turn on the show or hide arrangement point. And I'm going to my key select the front pattern pieces, hover the mouse over the avatar, click one to place. Then I'm going to come over here to the property editor and I want to change that to flat. I will do the same here. Simply my key selects for the back pattern pieces and I'm going to press on number 8 here then click one on the avatar to place the pattern then I will change that to flat as well now let's press on number 2 to see the front pattern now I'm going to sew the waistband I will use the segment sewing tool here then click one to start and then click one to sew into simply do the same here okay next I'm going to strengthen the pattern simply using these Transform pattern tool, my key selects all the pattern pieces, right click, then select strengthen. So after that, I'm going to come over here and click on the simulation button to simulate. Okay, so now the skirt kind of falling down here, I'm going to press on that once again to stop. There is some solution to that. 
We are going to apply the elastic onto the waistband. To do that, I will come over here to this fabric folder and click on this drop down menu and then double click on this elastic folder and I want to click on this knit elastic, drag and drop onto the objects browser. Next, I'm going to zoom in here. I want to mark key select both of the waistband here and then click on that assigned fabric. Next, before I'm going to simulate, okay, I'm going to mark key select all the pattern pieces and adjust it up a little. Now I'm going to click on that simulation but next we want to show the size seam of the skirt. Simply stop the simulation first and then I'm going to use the segment sewing tool here and zoom in, click right there to sew. Then I'm going to click right over here and zoom in closer, click right here. Now I'm going to simulate once again to see the effects. Next I'm going to stop the simulation and I want to simply my key selects and strengthen the pattern and simulate once again to see the effects of the skirt itself. I will go to fabric folder once again. This time double click on that fabric then type in silk and then press on return enter on the keyboard and I'm going to select the silk shamu Click, drag and drop onto this fabric right here. And now I'm going to simulate once again. As you can see, the pleat chain to a little bit more firm. That's what we want. And then I'm going to stop the simulation. I also want to change the color of the fabric. Simply go to the silk shimu fabric, click on it, and then navigate it down here to color. And let's change it to somewhat bluish or more like a turquoise color. After that, I'm going to click on apply and close. Next, we also want to change the elastic waistband color. Simply click on the elastic, click on the color, and then click on this eyedropper tool. Click one on the skirt to pick the color. Then press on the escape key on the keyboard to get out of that. And then I'm going to click on apply and close. Next, I will come over here and then turn on this high quality rendering to see more effect on the skirt. Next, we want to change the protocol distance to 10. Simply select the transform pattern tool. My key selects all the pattern pieces. Then go to the property editor and I'm going to change the protocol distance to 10. After that, I'm going to simulate once again to take the effects and then stop the simulation. And there you go, guys. Okay, there you have a design new star. We just created this beautiful accordion pleated skirt in close 3D, easy step by step. I hope you guys found the video helpful. And remember to follow me on Encoded Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys!